Storytelling, marketing, your customer is the hero. Hi, I'm Cecilia Lesvalin from Inventicity, the channel where we combine inventiveness with felicity. And today I'm going to talk about storytelling marketing. Storytelling is very close to my heart. I'm a novelist and writer and I am very interested in the history of literature and I am also teaching the history of literature. So, I have made several videos about storytelling and also about storytelling marketing and I will link to one of them here in this video now. What's important here, what I'm going to talk about in this brief video is that the customer is the hero, not you. What do I mean by this? Well, the customer must feel that you are the person or that your product is a product that will help him or her achieve his or her goals. The customer mustn't feel that you are a competitor. The customer must feel that you know more and that you will use your skills and resources to help him or her. We all, I think, um, and most people say, that we all perceive what we do in life when we have problems and solve the problems. We all perceive it like what uh, is called the hero's journey. Joseph Campbell, a scientist who studied mythology, named this the hero's journey. And uh, in a pattern which he describes uh, under the term the hero's journey, uh, in this pattern we all perceive our problem-solving procedure. And I will just briefly talk about this pattern now. So we can see that in, that in all great stories and also we can see when we uh, in our lives solve problems we go through this process. So the first step is that the hero is in his or her safe home environment. But then she or he gets a problem and she or he must solve the problem. So she or he sets out on a journey and meets advisors, helpers, friends, which help him or her to solve the problem. So, uh, in the beginning of the story, the hero searches for good advisors. And we have the equivalent if a, a prospective customer has a problem, then she or he is searching for a company, um, for advisors, for products which can help him or her solve his or her problem. And there, your prospective customer might come upon your ads or your videos uh, or maybe visit your website. And here, in this stage, you must show your prospective customer that you will be a helpful advisor, that you will um, help uh, your customer solve his or her problem, and that you will use your good skills and resources to do this, not competing with him or her, but helping him or her to solve the problem. And in this uh, pattern, the hero's journey, then the customer, uh, the hero, moves on to trying to solve his or her problem with the help of his or her advices and reaches the abyss. <laughs> in the abyss, this is the most terrible moment in all great stories where uh, the audience threat and feel very scared as they identify the hero. Uh, but as a customer, as customers, we also uh, um, often experience this peripatia when we haven't decided yet exactly how to solve the problem, but we have to make a decision because the problem must be solved so that we can live on or move on. And here uh, in the buyer's journey, which has many similarities to the hero's journey, here you must show the benefits of your product. You must show the differentiators of your product how your product is better than the competitor's products, how you better will solve the problem than your competitor, how you are a more skilled and helpful advisor than your competitors. Uh, and in this peripatia, the customer 
has to make a decision and that can be to buy the product but it can of course also be to solve the problem uh, herself but if the customer decides to buy your product to solve the problem then we move on to the success where you successfully help your um, customer to solve the problem and your customer gains new insights on how to use your product and maybe to um, herself or himself moving on solving the problems and after the peripheria the customer succeeds uh, and this success is when the customer successfully uses your product to solve the problem uh, and um, this is hopefully the start of a long collaboration where the customer will continue to use your product and maybe upgrade to more of your products In the hero's journey, the journey ends when the hero has gained new insights and implements these insights to improve his or her life. But in the buyer's journey, the cycle moves on. If the customer finds your product helpful, then she or he will continue buying from you and you will continue being a trusted advisor. Don't be a competitor to your prospective customer. Give the impression that you are a helpful advisor which will help your customer reach his or her goals and give the impression that you are not a competitor in any way. Thank you for watching this video about how to make your customer the hero and being a helpful advisor. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Till then, bye!